Hi, this is Josias from Session. As you know, Session is a platform that helps you generate personalized marketing videos for every customer, content, and occasion. Those videos are generated from any, any information source, any, any data source, any content feed. In this case, for a content feed could be, for example, this web form here, or it could be this document here, a Google uh, spreadsheet, or it could be a tweet, a Facebook comment, or even the information you hold on, on your database and on, on your own CMS. A frequent question we get is, how can we generate a video from a web form? And then how can we send that video uh, to the, uh, by email to the person who fills uh, that web form? I will show you how in a few seconds. The first thing you need to do is to, to know where you want to get that information from. In this case, we're going to use this web form that I just created using Google, for, uh, Google Forms. I will add the information here, for example, Josias, and my email, Josias at session.com. Cool. Now, as you can see, all the information that, you, that someone adds here will uh, will be added to this document here, to these Google Chats, automatically. Okay, that's the easy part. Now, even easier, how can we send information from this Google for, uh, Google document to session to, in order to generate a personalized video with this information here? Well, this is really easy. We'll use Zapier. Zapier is a service that connects several services between trigger uh, with triggers and actions so in this case we'll choose we, you could use any of these services in order to generate videos with session but in this case I'll use Google Chats. so I will tell the platform I want to trigger I want to trigger every time a new spreadsheet row is added okay because that's what we what we are saving this information and I want session here to generate a personalized video to create a video with that information okay we click continue we add where we connect our Google account and the same with our session account click continue yeah, everything's working fine okay and now we'll need to tell the platform we need to tell uh, Zapier uh, what's the, doc, the, the, the Google Docs we're using in this case, this is document test web form Zapier, as you can see here, test web form Zapier. And this is the form responses one is the work sheet we are using now, which is this one here. We click continue. And this is the session part. Right now, we're going to tell the platform, we're going to tell Zapier what's our session template the session template we want to use in order to generate the personalized videos as you can see here this is the session template i will use we will we'll see the result from this template in a few minutes so i will select that template here which is which is which is this one here testing web form And now I will add this session will show me the metadata I can add to that temp to that video to every video generated with this template with this zap in this case as well as the dynamic media the dynamic media is the input the personalized field that I activated within that template inside session that's what you will see here so let's add a video title a video title could be for example let's insert a field and this is taking information directly from this document here so it gives me a reference so in this case I want name cool, uh, yeah name and something like uh, testing is good I don't know something like that and for the description maybe testing is good name name and as a keyword, I could use a tag, I could use session, TV, session, video. I don't know. You can add whatever you want. <laughs> now, session gives you a custom metadata. This means that you can add any other information as a metadata for every video. 
So in this case, I, I want to add a new column or a new data called uh, email, where um, I will add the email we just added before here, this column. So before for the video title and description, I use this one here. And now for the custom metadata, I want to use the email here. Email. So that means that every generated video using this specific trigger app will add that email uh, as a custom metadata, some metadata. I want to add even more just that you see that you can add more things. For example, the timestamp. And here we have timestamp. Okay, great. You could add more or you can just delete it. Okay, now this is the dynamic media. The dynamic media is the input. Uh, well, dynamic media are the inputs that are a part, like that are coming from outside session as, as personalized fields. So in this case, this will be the information that I want to be displayed inside the video, within the video. So in this case, I want the name to be the dynamic media. This is because that's how I created this template. I could, I could have more dynamic media or only one or none. That's up to me in this case, up to you in your case. Continue and let's test it. Test Google. Uh, yep. And I will create one video just to see that everything is fine. Now I, let me go to session and session is creating the video. Great. It will take a few seconds and then until session creates the video and then a few seconds until YouTube actually uh, offers that video about, well, until, until that video is actually available. Nope. Here we have it. This test went well, great. So this is the dynamic medium. That means the information that is coming from outside session. And this is a template media as well as the background video. That means that that's information that is part of that template. And every video generated with this template will have the same background and as well as the same text here. Great. So it seems it is working. Great. So now let's do another, let's go one more step. One step further. So let's, what we want to do now is to send the generated video via email automatically. So what we want is that now we, we know that every time we, every time someone, someone uh, fills out this web form, a video will be generated. Great. Now what we want to do is to send that video to that person via email. It could be email or it could be Twitter or Facebook, whatever we want. So the way we, we, we do that is we are going to create another zap make a new zap and we will send information in this case from session every time a new video is generated from session I want to send an email an email so email I could use any any service uh, Aweber, Active Campaign, Bomb Bomb or even in this case what I, I will use is email just the you know the basic email app that Zapier gives us. Send outbound email, continue. You need to copy this webhook. You need to copy it here. You go to session, you click edit, edit template button and you paste it here. That's all you need to do. After you have copied it, you save the template and we are all set up. So now we continue, we continue, we continue, and this is the email part. Let's add the email we want to use uh, in order to send the email, the, the email from that person's email in order to send that video by email. This is the message Zapier will always show you the first time you do this, which is telling you to create, asking you to create a new video so they can trigger that information. So I will create a new video. 
you then click here okay I did this and in a few seconds it'll, it will say okay you're done continue so we'll we need to wait a few seconds until it actually gets the information okay they found changes all done you click here and we'll see the magic here email we before we added an email field as a custom metadata and here we have it email you could add any other information sometimes it could be maybe the product name sometimes it could be the the SQU for a product or a specific ID for your your platform that's up to you as a subject I want to use the video uh, video the video title we added before so which is this one here the video name and as a body email body something like hi here is the YouTube URL or something more fancy so uh, for example YouTube we have here we have the YouTube ID but you should add the YouTube URL structure which is this one here that you're seeing here you just copy paste this and you add it here so here we have the YouTube basic structure plus the specific YouTube ID you could do the same with any other service it could be Amazon S3 or it could be your own uh, video player the session will have the ID for that for that uh, video and that's all we want from this video maybe let's for this email let's set up the who is sending this email from uh, session test let's say yeah cool let's continue let's test it testing and we should see that video in a few sec well that email here in a few seconds yep here we have it session test this is the email and here we have it hi here is the YouTube URL this is the link we saw before or a new video that's being is being created by set well upload uploaded it's been YouTube is working on it right now so we won't be able to see it now and that's how you do it now we should activate both uh, apps zaps so in this case this is a test web form from uh, from Google oh, Google cheats to session turn on and then we should do the same with the uh, zap that sends information from session to any other email provider for example the email app from Zapier or Gmail or any other service so we add a name uh, test web form from session to uh, email for example we turn it on great so now let's do a live test so let's say my name is uh, I don't know uh, my name is Frederick and my email is Josias at session.com submit it here we have the result the one we saw here we see here and let's run this manually just to do a fast test uh, here we have it run the video is being well now the video is being generated by session as you can see here yeah session is creating the video in a few seconds it will upload the, that video to YouTube and in a few seconds we will receive that video via email and that's all you need to do after both triggers are on uh, bo both apps are on on you will receive you will generate a video every time that web form is submitted or with any other service and you will receive that video or someone else will receive that video by email it's pretty easy if you have any question just let us know we are here to help write us at help at session.com have a great day bye